We are LMTV, Lindmar Television. Lindmar, your news starts now. Hey Lindmar, it's Monday, March 6th, 2023. It's the day of the dude. Here's what's happening across the campus. An important, important reminder for freshmen. LMTV's Addison has the details. It's a Monday, so guess what? It's a ninth grade Connections Day. Be sure to stop by your ninth grade Connections classroom today at 3.30. Remember, they take attendance. Katrina and Noah, back to you. Thanks, Addy. Lynn Mardrama will present the curious incident of the dog in the nighttime, March 8th and 9th at 7 p.m. in the Little Theater. Tickets are $5 each and will be available at the door. Don't miss it Wednesday and Thursday night in the Little Theater. Ninth graders interested in a career in healthcare are invited to attend a Healthcare Explorations Day to Thursday morning at the Kirkwood Lynn Regional Center. Interested students should sign up in the College and Career Center. Space is limited. The real March Madness is here. The Soda Co-Ed Basketball Tournament is this Thursday night in the high school gym. See Mr. McCauley for your team entry forms. And those are the LMTV headlines at this hour. I'm Corey with Linmar Sports. Boys tennis players have a meeting today at 4 in the lecture hall. Today at 2, Varsity Girls Track and Field competes in the Dixon Relays in the UNI Dome in Cedar Falls. Team dismissed at 11.25. That's sports. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Corey. In news from the counselors, a rep from Simpson College will be in the College and Career Center at 9 a.m. today. On the arts and club scene, you renew will meet Wednesday morning at 8.15 to do a parking lot cleanup. Meet in KL 104 before 8.15. It's a great way to earn quartz hours. Bring trash bags. See Mrs. Croc or Mrs. Schumacher if you have questions. Lin Linmar Esports will have varsity trials for Mario Kart on Tuesday and Thursday in the library from 3.30 to 5.30. You can come on either day. You must talk to Coach Stewart or Mr. Johnson via Discord or in person in the library to sign up before the tryouts. Now NASA with Amnesty International is here to tell us about a special project and how you can help. Our Amnesty International group has put QR codes up around the school to help the people in Syria as there has been an earthquake which resulted in more than 50,000 deaths, 70,000 injured, and at least 160,000 buildings have been destroyed. The people of Syria are forced to stay outside in freezing temperatures due to the destruction with aftershocks just as violent as the earthquake. By donating, you could help send emergency aid with food, shelter, cold weather supplies, and hygiene kits. By scanning QR codes on posters around the halls, you can help support the people in Syria. Back to you. Thanks, Nassif. For lunch downstairs, it's chicken parmesan. The airlines offer pizza, salads, or sandwiches. In the food court, it's stuffed crust pizza. And for breakfast tomorrow, it's a chicken sausage sandwich. Your LMTV forecast calls for a chance of rain with a high of 47. Tomorrow will also look partly sunny with a high of 46. And Wednesday will be mostly cloudy with a high near 41. That wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. LMTV is always available online. Just go to the Linmar website or, you know, check us out on YouTube. Join us again tomorrow. And have a great day, Linmar.